Hi, this is Darren Drew from D. Drew Guitars. Today I'm going to show you how to get a mirror-like finish on, you know, this is lacquer finish, resonator for banjo I'm doing, hand rub, sunburst. First you want to prepare with, um, I use a sanding block like this with cork on it. It, it still keeps it really flat and it um, also gives it a little bit of cushion, which is helpful. So before I even do the hand rub finish, I will sand with a block to make it nice and smooth everywhere so that when you go to block it like now it'll be block ready uh, after you do your finish so then i probably have 30 coats of lacquer on this you sand a lot of them off um, so first i'll start out with 600 grit you know wet and dry paper and 600 800 thousand 1500 um 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, in which that's what I'm going to show you now, 3,000 wet and dry. And I also put a little bit of, like, this soap in my water, put it in a squirt bottle, makes it much easier. The soap makes it so the, the lacquer that's coming off doesn't stick to your um, sandpaper. It makes it a little bit slicker, slicklier, <laughs> slicker, <laughs> um, you know, just to sand it in general. So I'll put a generous amount of water and then also on my block and I'll start at the edges and then I'll do like basically half of it and see some once it gets this smooth already it starts getting sticky in a sense because it's the paper sticking to the finish and then I'll do the center really well flip this 180 because my left hand is a little bit sore, but do the edges. Do the whole thing. And then I'll just spin it a quarter of a turn and do the same thing again. Try to keep your paper as clean as you can be. Put some more on here. Start at the edges. really getting sticky to the resonator now and believe me you need to put a little muscle into this and it wears you out you know and it's very hard not to want to uh, or not wanting to but to sand through the finish the coloring which that's what you don't want to do so I always put like you know, at least four coats of um, clear on, wet sand it, put four more coats of clear, you know, wet sand it. Okay, and then, now that I have this part done, you can look up in the light. I see some scratches going in this direction, which they all should be going in this way. So I'll do this with the 3,000 one more time, and then, then I'll go to even um, 5,000. I have seen... 5,000 in paper like this. I don't happen to have any right now, but I have a foam pad that works really well. And a lot of times you can put that even on a palm sander. Spin this again. Okay, let's take a look at that now. Try to always keep everything really clean because the little particles can make a scratches. Start putting scratches in your finish. You also want to keep your fingernails pretty short because in case you hit your fingernail on it, you don't want to put any scratches into it. Yeah, see all my, all my sand marks are going up this way. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a palm sander Pull this off, pull your dust thing off, turn it on over here to get all the dust out of it, you could say. Now I have a pad like this, 5,000 grit, it's a little foam pad. Put it on my palm sander, get it really nice and wet. Get this really nice and wet. 
And a lot of times palm sanders leave like little seed marks on it. Let's hope it doesn't. But then just start in one place and work your way around. soft cloth and a lot of the soft cloths don't really take all the water off so then look up at it in the light see if you have any more scratch marks which I do and you will so but I'm not seeing any C marks which is good see I have more scratch marks through here you probably can't see them so I'll do this a bunch more times with the um, 5000 grit sanding pad on my sander and this will come out like a a mirror and then I will take it to a buffing wheel and if you don't have a buffing wheel then you can use like uh, two or three different car waxes which you know at different grits of it some are finer than others um, use the rougher one first and do it with a um, car wax because this is like a car finish so then you know um, do that buff it out you know with the soft towel after you put your wax on let it dry and when you go to look at this thing, it will be, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see how high gloss it is already. You know, it just does nothing but shine. And it will end up like a mirror, you know, as long as you use a, a block sanding to do it, that makes it smooth. And that's what, being smooth makes it shiny. I do the cork, and if I have a little spot area I need to do, I have a little block like this with the cork on it to do as well. Um, but you always want to block sand it and then work your way down through the grits of sandpaper and it will come out just like a mirror to where if you hold it right you won't even be able to see what it is anyway this is darren drew i hope you learned something please like please subscribe and i'll talk to you on the next video thank you